10 types of girls who play Minecraft. What's going on guys here? This is Xbox Man and today we got for you a Minecraft video. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over 10 types of girls who play Minecraft. And before all you guys get your, your little undergarments in a wad, for nicer terms, we're gonna, I'm not trying to negatively stereotype these girls. Now there are some very negative stereotypes that you can just do with any kind of group, but with these girls right here, these types of girls, they're gonna be a lot more good than bad. So I'm trying to kind of encourage more types of girls to pe go on and play Minecraft or just play games in general. This is more of a general list. I know I use Minecraft a lot, but this is kind of a list that can apply to a lot of things. So by no means am I trying to depict what a girl should do or what they should not do. We're just talking about just kind of like common gamer etiquette in general. Kind of dogging on the bros too, all you guys, all you horny little guys out there. I, I digress, we're going to be done. Comment down below the worst or the best what type of girl you like the best you know that one that that tickles your heart a little bit oh, yeah. just got really bright in here I look like Jesus right now So comment down below, like this video up, and here we go. All right guys, for our first one, it's actually kind of funny because I just said let's not negatively stereotype this group of people because like, it is kind of a sensitive talk topic, talking about girls in games and things like that. It can offend a lot of people, it can trigger people who are just like, oh my god, Exposure Man, how can you be talking about girls right now? That is the worst thing you could ever be doing. You are just a cotton-headed, nanny nanny-mugging, feminism-hating, dog-sniffing, crack-licking piece of dude. You might be triggered like that, but we're talking about the girls who make it known to everyone that they are a girl. Now, I'm not trying to go around saying like, all right, yeah, I know if you're a girl, I'm not going to be that guy who's just like, girls. I'm that guy. It doesn't really matter who I play with video games with. I'm not trying to find like a romantic e-harmony, whatever that is. I'm not trying to do that. What I'm trying to do is I'm playing with someone who I enjoy playing with. But what annoys me the most is if you're a guy or a girl, like it doesn't even matter what you are. If you're going around like advertising your gender, like why does that even, why is that even relevant? Well, I know why it's relevant because you're trying to get a guy who's just like totally like into that, that whole like gaming gone wild scene. Oh, yeah. I, had to, I had to put like a sexy meme in there. But if you're like into that, like, I mean, that's, that's kind of weird to me. Like, 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 no, just don't. Don't even start there. But the people that go around saying like, I'm a girl this, I'm a girl that, like, Oh my god, I am such a girl. Like, oh my god, if you didn't know how much of a girl I was. Like, no, no. Like, I don't really care. I don't really care. I've literally gone to some things where people are literally like, did you know I was a girl? To be honest, I really didn't care. Like, it, that you don't get some special privilege because you're a girl. You're just like everyone else. Or you don't get some spe special privilege. Your age, race, height, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter because, well, guess what? It's video games. Anonymity is the thing. You can be like this whole anonymous figure and people don't really care about what your race, gender, or anything else is. I just got deep there. I just went to the bottom of the ocean. That's how deep I got. For our second one, it's the exact opposite. It's the girl that you have never guessed would be the person that you are talking to. Now, like I said, it doesn't really matter, but sometimes like I do, I do get thrown off. Like I used to play, when I used to play Clash of Clans, I used to be a Clash of Clans channel, guys. Loser. And I used to go around, I played, and there was a girl named Cookie. And I guess you could say Cookie could be kind of like a memesy thing but I did not know she was a girl like they that's how they acted and that's how it should be like I just didn't really care about if you're a girl or a guy usually they're pretty cool actually really cool most of the time a lot of them are crap talkers they talk a lot of crap against you they try to get you like, like motivated I guess you could say or try to like compete a lot with you and you never can tell that what their gender is and they don't really feel like advertising it yeah they might tell you here and there like hey I'm a girl or something like that or uh, there's a story that pertains to them that they reveal they're a girl but I mean if you're really thinking about it they only do it when they have to do it. They're not literally going around. First thing they type is, hey, I'm a girl. What they're going around doing is they're just like, hey, 
I'm playing this game. Does it really matter what I am? No. So I'm just going to go and play it and have fun. And if it so happens to get out that I'm a girl, it so happens to get out. I like those people. I like them a lot. Exposure Man approved. Video's done. No, it's not. For our third one, it's the guy, the girl that everyone is attracted to. You already know this is what we call a streamer. These girls love to go ahead and they, they, some of them abuse their, their, uh, their, their fate, their shape and figure. And we're not gonna get into that for that, but that, good to that. We're not gonna get into that section of the internet. We're just gonna talk about the ones that literally they get praised by everyone. It's kind of funny to see, like, some of them don't mean it, some of them do. Um, you can tell sometimes, but to be honest, like, if I was a girl and I, sometimes you want some attention. I mean, I mean, not saying me. I mean, I guess yeah. I, I, I make YouTube videos. Obviously, I want attention. Oh my God, Exposure Man! How could you be like that? Everyone knows. In 1978, I was an attention seeker like you, and then I found Minecraft in 1979, leading to this when I became Notch, and that's how Herobrine came. Do you really want to become Herobrine, Exposure Man? You are so bad. I'm gonna comment, dislike, and unsubscribe. But you have the girl that everyone is attracted to, and they go on stream, and they literally, it's just like, the chat is non-stop. It's like a machine gun going around with praises and comments of how pretty, or how awesome, or how smart, or how... Literally, this person is perfect. Like, if you want to create a perfect human being, go onto a stream, go onto like a Twitch stream, YouTube stream, and a girl is going around playing Minecraft or whatever, they are automatically the most perfect person. They could literally say they have shot and killed someone, but it was for a justifiable reason. Because, well, everyone loves them. Like, I could literally pick my nose right now, but if I was one of those people that everyone is attracted to, gosh darn it, I better get some gold out of that nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, God! Makes you jealous in every way. I'm jealous. I'm done with this video again because I'm so jealous. Psych, not a long pause. Gotcha. Why are you the way that you are? Number four is the girl who has a boyfriend. Like, literally, she goes around, whatever she says, you have to be reminded she has a boyfriend. Like, my boyfriend this, my boyfriend that. Like, I don't really care about if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend. Like, to be honest, when people talk about their significant other too much, from a single person's, like, uh, you know, the perspective, I don't really care. I really don't care. Like, you two do you, you have fun, but sometimes I just want to bro out or just have fun, group out, depending on whatever it is. But if you're constantly reminded about that person that is significant to the other one, yeah, they value it a lot, and it's fun, and they, they have a good time. But to be honest, like, nobody cares. Legit, I don't care. The person next to you doesn't care. And sure as heck, the guy that's attracted to you does not care. So don't be reminding us to what, what your boyfriend would do if a creeper comes around and totally obliterates you. Don't be reminding us how your boyfriend would create a better house than you. But to be honest, probably can do all those things better, but guys, we have like this manly nature. Like we just want to take our shirts off all the time. We want to flex on everything. We want to go ahead. We want to... We want to like put our legs on things and like squat down, you know. We want to get on top of beds and do like squats. That's what we want to do. We want to make our manly presence known. No, God! By comparing ourselves to other people, like, you can't let me be a bro. I want to be a bro. I wanna be the very best. This just got really weird. This just got really weird. Alright, for our fifth one, 
We're going to talk about the girl who you don't think is actually a girl. Now, this is like one of those things, the guy who poses as a girl. That's what we're talking about. Like, these guys are the weirdest ones. You can call them the catfishers, whatever you want to call them, but it is weird if you try to act like a girl. Now, all right, I have I have been weird sometimes, and one of the few times I've made a video, I have deleted this video, but I acted as a girl, and this was just for fun, it's funs and giggles, and I went around praising myself, saying I'm a girl, you know, I'm this complete goddess there is, I'm literally Athena, and people, yeah, it gets some guys attention, they're just like, girl, where, girl, you know, like the meme I always use. I mean, these girl, these guys, I mean, it's so fun. I bet it's fun as you as a girl to see the perspective of what other guys are looking. I mean, they literally will flock to you. I mean, you look like Jack Sparrow if on, on Mindplex. If you go on Mindplex, Hypex, or whatever, you literally look like this meme right here. So why not sometimes? It would be funny. Like, I, I think it's extremely creepy, though, for people that literally think they can, like, embody a girl and who are actually a guy posing as a girl. Like, that is just weird. It is really freaking weird. Like, this is, like, what they do not making a video. That's what they do for enjoyment is act as a girl. Hey, boys, so, yeah, you want to be my boyfriend right now? Like, I'm totally legit. Like, oh, my God, you guys are so cute. Okay, I, that, that is just weird. I'm, I'm so weirded out right now. Even, talk, even trying to impersonate, I'm weird. Like, you are a guy. You have muscles. Make it known. Pee all over everything. Pee all over everything. Make it look like you're, it's your territory. You don't want to be... I don't know. I don't know. But I just think it's weird how people are trying to catfish other guys, like saying, like, I'm a girl, go on a beer. You know what would be really weird? If that guy accident, actually got a date with another guy... Because the guy thought it was a girl. That's literally what you see on like Dateline. Like people weird things happening. Like ew. 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 I mean I'm just picturing like a freaking creepy old rat man just like totally like saying. Hey boys if you guys want I'm a really attractive girl. I'm 28 years old and I just I just really really want a boyfriend right now. And it's like one guy, like a little creepy guy behind the screen. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, that's, a lot, that's a lot better. I feel better after that. I felt a little just creepy. I felt like a creeper talking about it. So going on to number six, we're going to be talking about the tomboy. And this is the person that literally acts like a guy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I used to have tons of tomboy friends. Well, not tons, but I had a few tomboy friends back in the day. And we had some good fun. And we, we played around and did, 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 did the stuff that the young kids do. And it really just becomes an issue if you're just like a closed-minded dude. But they literally just act like another one of the bros. I mean, they bro out with us. I've been stressing this whole video about broing out. Like, you know, having some manly time. With. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, you can let these people do what they do more than likely you're probably gonna never know unless you have like a Skype conversation or something like that that this person may not be a boy but or you probably won't even care like why should you even care but uh, yeah I've, I've had a few people I've played Minecraft with who are like tomboys they like to do boy things I'm not saying they're like weird or anything like that but they just like to play things that we like to play they like to play like survival games and stuff like that that's really all I have to say about them. There's really not much to say about them. For number seven, we're gonna go with the one that everyone loves to talk about and rant upon on the internet. The triggered angry people. Now we've talked about this. They also like to call them like feminists and things like that, but I'm not gonna get into the specific stereotypes. I'm just gonna talk about the people that generally just like to hate. Like that's their thing. They like to hate. They like to obviously they, they know that they're different. You know, the, the Minecraft community is made up of a majority of guys. Um, it's a lot better than a lot of games. A lot of ga games, it's like 99% guy and 1% female. This one, I'd say there's a, quite a bit larger presence of females on here just for the fact that it's a very unisex game he <laughs> i said sex oh no god but there are still those people that literally like they get so triggered by everything and this is just people in general like you could be a guy that you know has 
brown hair and obviously if you have brown hair that means you have to get triggered by everything like anyone that says something like hey man uh, I like your brown hair and they're just like oh my god exposure man how could you say that right now obviously I am going through a deep depression for having my brown curly luscious hair and I don't I didn't mean to not conditionerize this one. Oh my god I hate you so much exposure man please I'm going to dislike all of your videos I mean, you get that all the time. The people are just hostile. Or it's just a girl. We're just going to kind of go into the girl, the girl scene. I know it's kind of a touchy subject, but, you know, like you say, like, hey, are you a girl or something like that? And they're like, how could you say I'm a girl? I mean, everything's, like, majorly offensive, which, I mean... Whatever you, what I, I, don't, I don't know how to go about that. Usually I just like totally ignore them and can, can I don't know. But sometimes you, they do have like all the right to do that just for the fact that some people are just absolutely jerks about it. Um, they, they obviously think, there's guys that think like obviously because this is a girl that they can treat her differently or uh, they can condescend, do something different, uh, make weird jokes. Well, I mean that's not cool and I can see them being hostile and sometimes they make videos where they kind of flip the girl's words around to make her look really bad and um, it's just not the case uh, so uh, they do get a lot of bad recognition they fall into the creators hands the person creating the content they make them look bad through the power of editing but then there's some where just hostile people in general you just kind of have to be like kind of like touch them a little bit and then if they they snap at you you're like oh I gotta get out of here or, or you gotta do just like a slow like a can't have them striking at you again. For our eighth one, I think that is, we're gonna go with the people, the girlfriend, the girlfriend. Now, this is good for like casual playing and things like that, but everyone knows if you had like some sort of relationship, your girlfriend's gonna be like, oh, can I play? I used to I used to get that with my play Call of Duty back in the eighth grade days, cause you know, I was kind of a pimp back in the days. I was a pimp back in the days. I did what I wanted to do, and I let them play. I let the girls they played my Call of Duty. When I had Call of Duty, I let them play it. Okay, I can't. I cannot wear those anymore. Uh, I let them play Call of Duty, and they'd be like left, right. It looks something like this. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was miserable. And that's just like any new player. Like, if I let my dad have that, oh, the controller, oh, God, it was just as bad. But, I mean, they'd literally, like, walk into trees and things like that. And you're just, like, sitting to yourself like, oh, my God, what am I looking at right now? So that's one of the type of girls. They don't play video games. They just, uh, they play them when you're around because, you know, bay, bay. For our number ninth one, it's just the girl that's cool. I mean, like, we used to have this one girl that we played with for, I know, this one girl. This one girl we played with on Call of Duty, or no, it was actually Minecraft, and she was really cool, and we still know her today. She's all the way from Louisiana, you know, the Louisiana Popeye's chicken. I probably just offended about a whole a horde of people there from Louisiana in America if you don't know where that is America and she was really cool and she played all kinds of games with us and it was just a fun time so it's one of those people that you know they're a girl and things like that but you can still talk crap to them you can still do a lot of fun things with them and they just fit in well like their personality fits in very well and no more of those people like I want to see. Like I like people. I I know there's the tomboys and things like that. But these people, like you can realize they're a girl. You're not trying to hit on them. You're not trying to become a girlfriend boyfriend. You're not trying to be offended or like walk lightheartedly around them. All you're trying to do is just have fun with them. And that's pretty much all all it was. She talked crap to us. We talked back. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And. Uh, we don't really have in contact with her. Our group in total, our group of friends, isn't really in contact with her anymore. But uh, still, it comes up. The conversation comes up. How cool she was for our tenth one. Let's finish this off. We're gonna go with the girl you're just jealous of. Now, a lot of guys are gonna dislike this video because they're just jealous because they don't have see the they don't have a girl of their own. And I've been single for three years now, and I can tell you what you're gonna find the one you want. I'm just saying they come and they go, guys and girls, no matter who you are. So don't be like that guy that's just like girls, girls. Just be the guy, be chill, the time is gonna come and you better shine. You better be having your diamond armor on, you better not have your iron armor, you better have the diamond. You better be ready to defeat that quest of getting a girlfriend.
why am I even talking about this? But I mean, there's a lot of guys that are like jealous of certain girls, things like that, and they, it's just a girl that gets like absolutely obliterated because she plays and she acts like she's, she might be new to the game, she might be a pro at the game, but she always gets absolutely pooped on because she is a girl. Which I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just the community now. They're gonna slowly progress, progressivism to the max. Alright guys, that is pretty much it. I hope I didn't offend you guys too much. Whoever was playing, whoever was watching this, if you're a girl or a guy, I know generally I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes on this video just for the fact that uh, people will get offended. It's kind of a touchy subject, but I kind of wanted to give my opinion on it and I got a lot of requests for it, so I figured I might as well do it. But otherwise, I hope you did enjoy it. Comment down below the type of girl you play with or that you are, whatever you want to do. Put in the comment section down below. Like this video up to get over all those dislikes and uh that's pretty much it thanks once again guys for watching i really do appreciate it i'll see you next time later